the thing about MSI is that we have wonderful tradition. You know, everything that's been done here over the last 78 years, we are the benefactors of. But I think along with that tradition, we're now propelling the museum into the 21st century. Our vision is to inspire and motivate our children to achieve their full potential in science, technology, medicine, engineering. And to us, full potential means how do we leverage what we bring to the table? Fun, inclusive, accessible learning strategies, crazy inspirational exhibitions. How do we leverage that to reach where the child is? It's about then building that relationship so that families, communities, all of those people in a child's life start to see us as their partner, a tool to help bring science into their child and their family's sphere. We don't want to be, oh, the science museum in Chicago. No, we are the world famous museum of science and industry. Bam, here's why when you walk in this door. You know, the thing that we do that you can't do anywhere else is we provide experiences that come alive. They're large in scale. They have a sense of awe. They have a human connection. And they get you physically and emotionally engaged in the experience. You're able to actually touch and experience and talk with scientists and talk with people who are really have first-hand knowledge of what's here. That empowers our guests, empowers our audiences to take some ownership of science. Science is not for other people, but it's for all of us because we are living and doing science all the time. And it's critical that we turn kids on and connect them to science early so that they start to see it as something that they can do, participate in, and achieve in. We're going to work on the first two columns. So we're gonna we don't have on. enough kids engaged in science. We don't have enough scientists. We need more in the pipeline. We're having a chance to really have an impact on what's happening in schools. We're having a chance to impact what's happening in communities. We've been able to take the resources we currently have, develop all these new resources, and think about leveraging them in, in a whole new way and almost redefine the role that a museum can play in education. We're going to do this a step at a time. I find people continuously amazed when I tell them this statistic. 73% of all the middle school science teachers in Chicago do not have a background in science. My very first job that I was hired for full time was middle school science, which I had my middle school endorsement, but I didn't have anything to do with science at all. I didn't know how to pronounce some of the words. So we decided that we would spend a lot of energy focusing on middle school science teaching. We take teachers not only into getting to understand the museum better, but we take them into how to make science come alive in the classroom. And we are now offering a master's degree in science education in partnership with IIT. I know of no other museum in the country that is offering a master's degree in science education. Nose color, what are my two choices? It isn't just about what you know, it's knowing what you know and then knowing how to teach it to other people, and especially to young kids. You need both components to be effective. What trait did I have? If you're not connecting with the kids, then you're not, you know, you're not teaching. Feel it? Yeah. A little spark. Through things like our science minors and science achievers programs, we have teens who are becoming scientists. And they come into the museum to, to complete their service learning hours, but all of a sudden they're turned on to science. They're turned on to the dynamic of people coming together to learn together. This demonstrates Newton's third law of motion, which is for everyone. They become part of the museum's experience. Even though they were originally the, the program participant, they become part of the delivery. It gives kids a, a new way to learn, a way that they might not be familiar with or haven't experienced before. And there are lots of opportunities here that are completely free. All you have to do is, is give the time and the energy, and you're rewarded greatly. We had one young lady who was in our, she was a sophomore in our program. Right now you're actually at my family store. So here is like, it was actually like my first job. And she said she thought science was nothing but memorizing facts about things that had already been discovered. When she learned that science was about inventing the future, then she started getting excited. She started thinking about, well, there's, there's discovery. Oh, I could invent something myself. Like I could be the mentor instead of just 
seeing what other people had already invented. And it completely transformed her view of science and technology and changed her trajectory. It changed her life. I actually received a full ride scholarship from the Millennium Gates to IIT. We're going beyond the museum's walls and really reinventing what a museum can do in its community. It's a very proactive model of outreach. We have 60 after-school science clubs throughout the neighborhoods of Chicago in which we're teaching science to the children. A lot of our youth, uh, you know, they may do a science project in school, but extended from that, they don't have a real connect. And so here, they have an opportunity now to kind of let their minds soar a little more. When you're talking Museum of Science and Industry, now you're talking national, international. You're talking no limits. And I want to learn about how stuff is, like why the stars be in the sky, what the stars mean, stuff. Questions that I want to be answered. I want to see if it's an answer to them. This is a transformative time. And the key is the depth within which these programs are going into kids' lives. The legacy of this period in our history is going to be those changed lives. I have one, one young lady in particular. She is above me right now in her physics. I gave her my physics college textbook because she was asking me questions I couldn't answer. Her mom came to me at parent-teacher conferences, this was just yesterday, and told me, she goes, you have no idea what a difference you've made in this little girl's life. She goes, she would never have considered science before as a career. She goes, she sleeps with that textbook at night. She sleeps with it. It has made that big of an impact. And that young lady may find the cure for cancer. She may find the cure for MS. She may, she may solve my son's heart condition, or she may find a way to um, do something else that we can't even begin to imagine right now. But if not for that opportunity, you know, that presentation of the information to her in, in a way that engaged her, she would have been lost forever. This is necessary. The children that come through these programs, we are seeing every day the change it's making in their lives, and that is critical. We need to get education right.